is going on, my dear YouTube friends and neighbors? Today we're going to set this Blue Ridge BR-160 guitar up. Now, I've run into some issues with this thing. I've been humidifying it for several days. I just took all this crap out of it. Had a bowl with a wet cloth in it, shoved down into the hole. Had this over the hole. It's been that way for uh, 48 hours or so. 60 hours, maybe. And it took a little bit of the fall away. away. Anyways, I took all that out, got mirrors in there, went in there with lights and mics. Checked all the bracing under string tension. And it's up to pitch right now. All the bracing looks fine. But that fall away is still here. Now, there's a lot. It looks to me like, and I'll get the uh, camera later on and I'll show you. It looks to me like someone has done a lot of glue work inside of this guitar. On the braces inside this guitar. This looks like new glue. So what I'm thinking happened was that maybe some braces came loose at one time. It developed this fall away here at the fretboard extension. Someone obviously didn't notice that or didn't know to check it or fix it or do anything to it. And it looks like all they did was glue the braces back. And it looks like they glued several braces too. You just see new glue in there all over things. They did a really good job gluing the braces back and they're still holding. But I think they glued the braces and secured them with the fall away in the top. And that's why it's not going away very little bit. It went away some, but not very much at all, man. It's not going to be an issue as long as you don't get down in here trying to play it, you know. You're going to be fine down to the 12th and 14th fret. Anything past that, the action is going to raise very quickly. Right now we are at 6 64ths on the bass E string at the 12th fret. That was 5, according to my notes there. And uh, 5 64ths on the high E string at the 12th fret, which was, according to my notes, 4. And like I say, the only thing I did to humidify the guitar, it, it raised the action 1 64th. Exactly. So we're at 6 64ths on the bass, low E, 12th fret. And 5 64ths at the high E string, 12th fret. Probably can get that down a little bit lower than that. But I'm going to measure that in thousandths. It should be right very close, around 80 thousandths. And it is... Uh, Pretty much exactly 80 thousandths on the bass side. And 70 thousandths on the high E side. Now, first thing I'm going to do is set that neck relief. So I'm going to bring the camera over here and show you how to do that. And I'll show you once again. I have done this so many times, but always run into this. So I might as well explain it again for the new subscribers that maybe don't know it. I'm going to show you again how to calculate how much to take off of your saddle when you want to bring the action down a certain amount or a given amount that you uh, desire. You know, if I want this to come down so much at the 12th fret, I'm going to show you how to measure for that much to come down, how much to measure, how much to take off of the saddle back here. This has got a tusk saddle in it, by the way. The owner said uh, upgrade it to bone. I think he thought it was plastic, and I did too, but I had it out, and it is tusk. The nut is uh, bone. Looks like the original factory nut. So I'm going to leave that alone for now until I hear back from him. I personally would recommend leaving the tusk in there. I just think they sound better on most acoustic guitars. So I'll bring the camera over here now. Okay, this is just a recap on everything. I've got 16 thousandths here. A 10 and a 6. This should be exactly right. And you can see there. I think you can see that. It is perfect, man. It's 16 thousandths. On every string except the third string. I don't know why that is. You can see how perfectly that goes under there. It hits on the third string. Now I can shove, make it go, see? But third string is less than 16 thousandths. The rest of them are exactly 16. So that has not changed. The neck relief is what we are mostly concerned with right now, okay? So we're going to uh, check the neck relief. And set it, I'm going to start with about 10 thousandths. Now, there again, normally I would note the 17th fret, or 19th, or 20th even. But because of all this fall away we have back here, I'm going to note the 14th fret. 12, 13, 14, the 15th one. I'm going to note the 15th one because from here down, this really falls away bad. So I'm going to note the 15th fret. I'm going to check 7, 8. Look at that. Perfect, man, right there. That is excellent. There too. That's a little bit tight. That one fits good. And that one fits good. So we are at four thousandths on the neck relief. 
we want that to be at least ten thousandths okay so we got a little ways to go here check this out this is a ten see it'll go under there but it raises the string so we need more neck relief I've got a four millimeter wrench here and we are since we're loosening the truss rod we can do it under string tension I would never ever in a million years recommend doing tightening your truss rod under string tension people will tell you oh it's okay if you go in tiny little uh, yeah, just a fraction of a turn at a time. Well, no, it's not okay. Well, that is one tight dress rod, man. There's about a quarter of a turn. Let's see if we gained anything at all. Well, if we did, it's not nearly enough. So we need at least ten thousandths. And we're not getting that, so we're going to turn it some more. Uh, you can you can loosen your truss rod under string tension. It's okay, but uh, as far as tightening it, I would never recommend that. I'm gonna go a little bit more with that. It's a four millimeter uh, hex head. There we go. Uh, we have loosened that truss rod quite a lot now, quite a bit. And there we have ten thousandths. Check it out. Landed dead on the money, man. See if we're the same here. We'd like to see the same thing. And there you go. Ten thousandths it is. Now i got to tune the guitar back up to pitch because I know it's going to be out. So hold on. I'm going to pause the camera to do that. All right. Got her tuned back up to standard A440 pitch. Cable on the first fret, and there again I'm going to note the 15th fret instead of the 17th or 20th or 21st because of all this fall away. The truss rod does come to right there, but there is a lot of fall away from this fret, the 14th fret, down. So I'm going to note the 15th fret and do the uh, set the neck relief from that. I have a 10,000 here still. Look at that. You can see that goes under there. It does not lift the string. It is touching the string, but it's not lifting it. Tenth fret, eighth fret, seventh, any one of those would be okay, but it goes under all three. I'm sure this has raised a great deal here, too. We were at about 80 thousandths. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, we're more like 110 thousandths here now on the base E string. And a hundred thousandths on the high E string. So that really raised the action quite a lot. Boy, that truss rod was tight. All right, here's the magic. We are at a hundred and ten thousandths. We want to see that at eighty thousandths. That's a difference of thirty thousandths, okay? Now stay with me here. Let's look down here. We are at about one hundred thousandths. We would like to see about... Uh... 70 thousandths roughly which is a difference of 30 thousandths okay so here's the magic we want the strings to come down 30 thousandths we want them to be 30 thousandths lower than they are right now okay what does all that mean it means we're going to take the saddle out back here we have to double that amount measure off uh, 60 thousandths and take off of the saddle we've got to remove 60 thousandths from the bottom of this saddle okay now, let's see how much we have protruding. 112 thousandths. 121 thousandths. 99 thousandths. It's a little lower over on this side, the high E side. 68 thousandths. So if we move 60 from that, there's only going to be 8 thousandths sticking up out of there, but that's okay because there's a lot of string uh, angle, break angle there on those strings. One other thing I wanted to look at too. I have not checked this and you can see it hits on the bridge. So it's not going to be very long before this guitar either needs a neck reset or the bridge shaved. There's enough there I think I can drop it down 60 thousandths without any problems but uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's hitting on the, the bridge. It's not sliding over top of the bridge the way it's supposed to do. 
course, the neck probably isn't perfectly straight either, but well, it's a lot straighter than it used to be. You can see that hitting on the bridge here. It's not going up. should slide right over the bridge, right up, and hit the saddle. It's not doing that. It's, uh, it's hitting the bridge, not sliding over the saddle. And like I say, we only have, uh, what did I say that was? We got to remove sixty thousandths off the saddle. We only have seventy-seven thousandths right there on this end of it, so that's going to leave very little bit of the saddle sticking up out of there. We can still do it though; it'll still work. It'll be okay. So, want to drop this thirty thousandths? Want it to, this to be lower, thirty thousandths lower than it is right now? It means we got to double that. Take sixty thousandths off the saddle. We'll pause the camera, take uh, detune it, get the saddle out, and get the. Uh, belt sander rigged up here with market measure and start removing saddle material. Okay, I have 60 thousandths worth of feeler's gauge out here. The only thing I'm going to do is lie those flat down on the table like so. And if I can do this with one hand, that'll be a miracle within itself. I'm just going to hold it there and mark on the saddle 50 thousandths. And other than my thumb print being in the way, I think you can see that okay. We've got to remove up to that line. Up to it and uh, not really including it, but we want to cut into it about halfway, the thickness of the line. And that'll remove that 60 thousandths you're looking at from the line. Where are we at? From the line I made here to the edge of the uh, saddle here, that's 60 thousandths from that line to right there. not change any, it doesn't look like. And we're still at 10 on the neck relief. See that? That goes under there. Doesn't lift the string. Doesn't bind it or make any noise when I pull it out from under it. So, uh, same up here. Perfect. So it's 10 thousandths. That has not changed. Alright. I uh, ain't even got you in the camera hardly. Let's uh, check the action again now and see if it came down anywhere near what we wanted. We wanted to see about 80 thousandths, uh, roughly measuring in thousandths, on the base side, and we are exactly 80 thousandths, maybe closer to 70 on the base side. The high E string is 60 thousandths. I'm going to say that top base string is, 80, is uh, 70 thousandths because it's closer to it than it is uh, 80. So 64 so that would be 564 so just a uh, man a tiny bit more than 564 so. and on the high E it's between 464 so and 564 so it's not 564 so it's less than that but a tiny bit more than 464 so, so we gained quite a bit of action there uh, of course we put new strings on it I don't know if he's got the same gauge or not Buzzing's gone. Well, I think we can probably live with that. Uh, with that action's really nice, man. Probably could actually get it down a tiny bit more than that, but. I'm going to leave it there for the time being. We still have all that fall away here. There again, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. The action up here around the 12th fret is really close. You can see that. Very nice. And then down here, it's very high. Uh, I don't know, man, if you can see that fall away or not. I can't see the camera well enough to see how well it's showing up on camera. But hopefully the camera's getting all that fall away that we have from here. From the body joint, body fret, all the way down the fretboard extension. Like I say, I think that's due to uh, someone gluing the braces back. I'm going to show you inside there. A lot of glue work's been done. I think someone glued the braces back and did it with the fall away in the guitar. And it's going to stay that way because of that. So hold on. Let me gather my thoughts. It's a very small gathering, so it won't take long. I've showed you guys this many times before, but since we're here, I'm just going to show you now. Easiest way to pull your pins out of your guitar, you know how they're always really tight. I got the string loose here and ready to come off. Best thing you can do, I use wire cutters, 
and just lightly get a hold of the head of that pin, lay the wire cutters down over the saddle, and just hold them and shove them down. That will start to pull the pin up, okay? And you want to take the string, once you pull the pin up, just slightly shove that string down inside of there, and then you can pull the pin out every time with your fingers. Look at that, how easy that was to get out. Okay, see that the thing is very tight, the pin. You got the string completely loose. All I'm going to do is just gently grab the head of the pin, just like that, and let the cutters rest across the saddle. I'm going to hold them together, shove it down just a tiny bit. That pulls the pin up. Then you want to grab the string and shove the string back in there. Sometimes that might stick a little bit. You may have to get a hold of it down there and push it hard. But when the string does go in, then you can always pull the pin out with your fingers. And you don't have any damage to your pins that way. No plier teeth marks and broken heads and all that crazy funky things that I see. Uh, I don't know. It just looks like some people have used their teeth or something to pull the pins out. Anyways, I want to show you that again because it's very important. And it makes your pins last a lot longer. I'm going to show you before I put strings on it. Uh, maybe you can see all that new glue. See around those braces, all the new... It almost looks like a clear type of glue, not white, not a white kind of glue, but... And if you look at the top itself, we're looking down into a mirror at the top. You can see where the new glue has been smeared almost all the way back to that curfling back there. Not quite back to it, but you can see all that new glue that just looks like they covered the entire top with it. See what I mean? Yeah, the stupid camera is going to focus on the dirt on the mirror, but there we And you can see also new glue on those braces right there. It's just a new shiny looking glue. Hold on, let me get you another view. But you can see where all that new glue has been rubbed onto the top. See it there? Right in the center of the screen is a, a portion of the top that doesn't have the new glue on it. You can see on the left and right of that where it does have new glue. And like I say, back in here you can see where they have rubbed that that new glue around there you can see the glue see that glue where they rubbed the whole entire top in glue and then near the uh, edge of it it's dry there was no glue so someone has definitely worked on these braces here you can see some of the new glue that I'm talking about on the brace and then if you look back over the top there you can see where the new glue stops right there it's like they just rubbed the entire top with glue and then try to wipe it off but uh, hopefully you can see the stupid camera would only focus on the uh, on the brace instead of the there. You can see the new glue there on both of those braces. And that's what I say. Someone has just done a lot of glue work on those braces inside of there. And they glued it with this fall away in the neck. They left that there. They never tried to correct that or anything. And there's some new glue up here on these braces too. And uh, I'm thinking they just glued them back, you know, left the... Uh, left the fall away in the in the guitar